What up, peeps and peepettes? Morbtron back today with more Destiny 2. And today we are looking at a future war called Hand Cannon that is new to Season 2, Round 2, Faction Rally. The Defiant Hand Cannon is a weapon that I did not cover in yesterday's video because it wasn't at the vendor for me to look at. Um, but yeah, here it is. So, it is a energy hand cannon of the 150 archetype, meaning it is the fastest firing hand cannon out there. Um, it has lightweight frame because of that, so you get a little bit faster movement speed, and you get plus two to mobility, um, kind of as a hidden stat. As far as its perks go, we've got True Sight HCS, Fast Draw HCS, or Sure Shot HCS. Personally, I'm going to be sticking with True Sight. You might be more of a fan of Fast Draw. Granted, the handling increase is a little bit better. It's got more stability. Range is a little bit... You know, actually, no, we're going to go with Fast Draw. Sorry, guys. We're going to go with Fast Draw. Plus, mine is a Masterwork. Um, I just got it. I have killed one whole enemy with it. Um, I did have one that was not a Masterwork, so I've been using it for a little while while I've been farming for the Auto Rifle. Um, but yeah, so it's got accurized rounds in the magazine, or it's got drop mag. Uh, you lose a little bit of range, and you do gain really fast reload. Um, I do like drop mag on some weapons. Um, I don't think this one really needs it, because it's got a pretty quick reload as is. But then the interesting thing about this weapon, this hand cannon, it's got threat detector. So increased reload speed, stability, and handling when enemies are in close proximity. And you get that as a buff, and it does stack. Uh, so if there's more than one enemy in close range, you will get more of the threat detector perk. Now, I have turned in 30 packages worth of, to actually 31, uh, of future war cults. I did not get the new auto rifle. Um... I'm recording this the day the video is going live, just because I've been farming my face off as much as I could. I had to take a break yesterday from D2 because I got frustrated. And I just, you know, just turned in my last package and got just shaders. So I've done 30 with Future War Cult. I got this, the Enigma's Draw, which is technically a Season 1 weapon, but I never got it. It's basically a Wormwood from D1. Um, I will be doing a review on it as well, even though it's a Season 1 weapon because I haven't gotten it yet. Um, but that'll be for another day. We're using the Defiant today. Uh, super not happy that I didn't get the auto rifle. Um, super not happy that you can't just buy weapons like you can from any other vendor. Um, but, oh well. I did get this hand cannon, and I do really like this hand cannon. It, it is really good. Um, and the ex extra handling doesn't hurt. Aim down sights is super quick now, with the sight that I chose, plus its masterwork. So that's the thing. I've um, been able to masterwork most of my Hunter's Future War called Armor. So even though Lakshimi 2 did kind of screw me over, not giving me the auto rifle, I do still like the look of the gear when it's ornamented on a Hunter. Um, but yeah. So, the weapon itself handles very well goes where you shoot it. We're going to see, you know, threat... Okay, so threat detector maxes out at 2. My apologies, I messed up there last time. Reload is really, really quick. Really quick when you got more than one enemy around you. However, it's not really going to come into effect in Crucible, the increased reload speed, very often. There might be times where, you know, it's a big team fight or something um, where that can come into effect. But... Not very often is that going to be something in Crucible. Like, if you're in a 1v1 and you have to reload, uh, you're, you're dead. So, uh, there is that. My cat is being super needy and wants all of the attention when I'm trying to record. So, you might hear some cat being a jerk in the background noises. I can't help it. I'm sorry. You know what? You're going to eat staff here in a bit. After I shoot the rest of your friends. In the juice box. Okay. Missed that one. 
Missed that one. Cat is, I don't know, playing with one of his toys. In really close proximity to me. And eat grenade and then eat bow staff. Do it. Do it. Yeah, there you go. Did it feel good? You guys need a grenade too. Because Lucky Raspberry. Lucky Raspberry never procs for me this much when I'm on my own. But damn if it doesn't when I'm recording. Makes the exotic look better than it is. Alright. There we go. We got some Future War Cult tokens. We got some Mercury tokens. And, uh, yeah. Let's see how this here hand cannon handles in Crucible. I haven't used it in Crucible yet. Alright, so we're heading on down to Crucible Town. We got Distant Shore. I haven't gotten the new map yet. The one they added in Crimson Days. The Burnout. I know it's another Destiny 1 remake, but I'm actually curious to see what that map looks like. I haven't gotten it yet at all. Um, they, whatever. It's fine. Um, that's the wrong weapon. The Defiant. Here we go. So even though, you know, you still have the possibilities of not getting all the weapons, and the, you buy the armor, that's great. Even though you have the possibility of not getting all the weapons from the event, I still do really love the Faction Rally. Yeah, eat that grenade for me, boy. Oh, I don't want to die. Take that, and okay. I figured, you know, we would we would all rush them since they were just around the corner and there was four of us and two of them, but it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's okay. Oh, no. Did, it, did we at least secure the power ammo? Or did we give them that too? Hey, I got that kill. So, I mean, I do like this weapon. It's a hand cannon. And the bolts go where you, sh where you point the weapon. It's a 150, so, I mean, if you miss, it's not as punishing as using... Where did that guy go? He just booked it. He was like, I'm out. And hip fire on this thing is actually really good, too. Oh, you got wrecked, sir. Actually, do you want, do you want this? You want this? Take. Take it. There we go. Good job. Hey, you got that guy. Did you die with power ammo? You did. It's fine, though. It's okay. I've got the Legend of Acrius, and I'm at range, so that wouldn't have been very good. Ow. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Yep. I died. It's okay, though. I was kind of pinchied. Yeah, this hand cannon is... It, it, it's working out for me really well. I really like this hand cannon. I enjoy using it. And before somebody says, Morbjorn, why were you using, why were you using a hand cannon at range? That was really dumb. Um, my weapon reviews, I only use the weapon, or try to only use the weapon that I'm reviewing. So yeah, I will use a hand cannon at stupid long distances. Bye. Um, <laughs> there's a couple commenters recently on some of my older weapon reviews that just don't get it. They just don't get it. They're like, oh, saying like, why, why would you use a weapon? Why would you review a weapon if you haven't mastered it yet? And like, why, why would you review a weapon after you've mastered it? Doesn't make sense. You want to give like a, to give a good review, you know, not everybody's going to want to put in the time to master Warcliffe Coil to the face. Not everyone's going to want to put in the time to master a weapon. They want to know how good it's going to be for them to just pick it up and use it. How does the weapon feel? So if you review a gun after you've mastered the damn thing, um, it's... It's... Oh, God. <laughs> it's going to give a false sense of quality or 
a false sense of goodness with the gun that somebody may or may not feel if they pick it up for the first time. So, if you're unimpressed with my gameplay with a weapon, too bad. <laughs> don't watch my reviews. If you don't like the way I review something, don't watch my reviews. That's all I gotta say. Ow. But if you do like the way I review weapons, which apparently some people, you know, a lot of you honestly do because I mostly do. Weapon reviews, this is going to go badly. Yep, that went badly. I didn't expect their whole team to be there. I did get one of them. They're actually playing very well. I mean, we're winning. But they're playing really well. And I'm not going to win that at all. Jeez! Three minutes remaining. Shh! You no see me. You no see me. All right, let's get back to my teammates. Oh, geez, they're all there. Oh, no, they're all, okay. They're they're playing really smart. Really smart is how they're playing right now. And I'm playing not so smart because I'm trying to actually get some kills on this damn weapon. I got you, bro. You good. Not gonna win that. He's using an Ariels or something. He's using a 450 auto rifle. Oh god! That guy. That guy has got my number. It's 12. 12 is my number. <laughs> okay, we got him. Screw you, Jake Paulers. Is he just going to leave that power ammo? Okay, grab it, Noodles. Grab it, Noodles. You got it. Walk through your shield, which was dumb. Quiver tether is bad tether. I don't know why people use that in Crucible. Yeah, it turns tether into a roaming super, but a bad roaming super. Thanks for walking into that grenade, bro. Oh, hi. Keep this up and the battle is yours. You're almost there. Alright, I'm going into super concentrate try hard mode. Which makes for bad footage, I'm sorry. But I've already said the gun is good. <laughs> so at this point, if you're still here, you're here for my gameplay. I'm gonna punch you in the face. And then shoot you in the neck. Got a call to serve and a legendary Ingram. That's some skill-based rewards right there, 50 to 36. They thought they were coming back. Show them! 1.89. That guy had a 4.14. Holy wow. Good job, Noodles. GG. That's my water softener going off in the background. Can you hear that? It is the loudest water softener on the face of the planet Earth. Like, it's in a completely separate room, in a closet. It's still that loud. Anyway, guys, this weapon, the Defiant, even though mine is masterworked, it's only for handling, which granted does does benefit the weapon. It's amazing. You got to pick yourself up one of these. 
you know, hopefully the RN, RNG gods smile down upon you and you're able to get one of these in a future war cult package because it's totally worth using. Um, I think it hits, it's up there with any of the other great 150 pul uh, pulse rifles, hand cannons. Um, you know, Sunshot might have, you know, the explosive rounds and this and that on it, but this thing just feels so damn good. Um, like, th there's no problems with, you know, accuracy or anything with this weapon. Yeah, it's super stable. Its range, I think, is perfect for the weapon. Its reload speed is good. Its handling is amazing. Even without my masterwork, its, it's handling is godly. You gotta get yourself one of these guys. I'm gonna give this thing, like, a 9 out of 10 as far as weapon rating goes. But if you guys like this episode, please hit that like button. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe for more of my daily shenanigans. If you have anything to say, do it in the comment section down below. Do not forget to have a good day, everybody. And I will catch you all next time.